Okay, this here is our uh, house monitoring uh, oxygen parts per million uh, sample system. And you see right here, right now, we're at uh, 0.752, which is less than a 1 ppm of oxygen that's uh, required for the system. So what this is doing is it's, it's sampling through one of the ports on the back here, and it's getting pulled out by the vacuum pump down here. And again, this is a house system we have here, and we just use this to verify that the system is working properly. Okay, what we have here is this line coming in is a uh, 208 three phase. It's five wire, so it has a neutral in the ground. And this basically supplies this part of the system, the right side of the system, looking from this side. Just to let you know, this this gauge is always on as long as the power is on to the system, as well as these lights up top, the upper lights. And to turn your heater on, you would use this switch here. And then it's as you can see, it's set for 60 is reading 20. That's Celsius. And on the other side, we have the same setup here, where we got a five wire 208 three phase with a neutral on the ground, and that's coming in over here. And that supplies power to the left side of the system. And they're both 30 amp on 30 amp breakers. So this is the wire here. And now additionally too, I have labeled here all our uh, other utilities that are required. It's upside down at this view. We have our water in, water out. This is our box pressure. This line goes into the glove box. That reads the pressure inside the glove box. We have an inert gas coming in, regen gas. We have an exhaust. And that's for uh, during the regen, you have to exhaust out the uh, regen gas. And we have an air, that's to operate the, uh, the valves of each one of the uh, purifiers here. They're air, air uh, operated valves. And then we have a regulator here. That we're bringing in our inert gas. I have a, a cylinder of nitrogen here. Additionally, we're gonna need a, a chiller see down here we have a water chiller again this is our house system here you're gonna have to uh, provide water and I just run that at uh, 20 C and the way this is hooked up is I have a uh, water in goes to uh, the heat transfer system here which is part of the blower you have a blower and internal blower and you, you do increase the heat a little bit of the uh, inert gas is flowing through it, so what they do is they, uh, they cool it before it goes back into the box. So what we have is the water going in and out of the heat transfer uh, uh, line right there, and then we have a, uh, coming out of that, we, have, we send it into here, just connect it here, so we cool our, there's cooling coils on either side of the uh, doors for your vacuum oven, that's to keep this seal cool and you have one on the outside inside and then it'll be sent along down to the other side and it's identical to this where you have a uh, uh, copper cooling lines on either either side of the doors and then it's returned back to your kill, killer again this is a house system here you'll have to provide your own we also have a, a stroll pump here it's a dry stroll pump no oil in it uh, it's the edwards xds 10 we have a vacuum coming in through here. We have a, uh, a valve here, open and close valve here. And then you, and we got a valve over here too that'll open up to here for your vacuum for your vacuum chamber. This vacuum line is sent all the way down to the other side and it's identical to this. You also have a vacuum port that leads up to your anti, uh, mini anti chamber. And then you also have a vacuum port that leads for storing regeneration. It'll, it'll pull back in through this line. So as you do the regeneration, part of the regeneration cycle is to evacuate your purifier once the regen is uh, purged the gas through it. This is all explained in the manual that you'll receive. And then, and then finally, we have an exhaust port that goes and comes out of the uh, vacuum pump. It goes through this uh, one inch PVC pipe down to the other side. And we also have an ex our exhaust line from our system during regeneration. It'll exhaust out into our exhaust line. 
if you follow me to the other side, you'll see where the exhaust comes out. So here's our PVC pipe, that's our exhaust uh, port. Now I just have it hooked up to our house system here, exhaust it out to the outside. Now as you can see on this side, we have our vacuum line coming in. Our small line is for our antechamber, the mini antechamber. And then our larger line is for the, uh, the larger antechamber, the vacuum line. And our heated vacuum uh, system on this side, the antechamber on this side. These are our lines or heaters that are wrapped around the outside of the uh, chamber. That's how you heat this uh, candy chamber. And while we're here, you can see that there's a shelf on this side. The shelf will slide out, and then when the inner door is open, it will slide in. And again, we have pulling here, pulling lines here and here. So what I'll do is I'll close this door. We'll walk around to the other side and we'll talk about that in each chamber. See, this any chamber just has a uh, plate there, and if you need to uh, transfer in a large uh, piece of equipment, you can always remove this plate. It's a little heavy, but you know it will come out. And we'll just leave that there. That's the way we got it in, so it's like a good idea. Close this one up. Okay, this is our penetral pressure control. And we have a power on off switch here, as you can see it's on. Our magnet heli our photo helic here is monitoring our pressure inside the glove box. And right now I have it set in between positive one and negative one. You see this side is positive, this is negative. If you want to increase the pressure in the box, you can always set it here. And you can hear that the uh, inner gas is now entering the glove box. You can see that the gloves are pushing out a little bit. And then you can bring it to your right here if you want to go slightly negative. And you can hear that the vacuum pump going through the exhaust right now. The vac uh, we're pulling the inert gas out of the glove box to maintain this pressure. This is your range here, your upper and lower. And this will take a little while since the glove box is so large, but you can see that the gloves are now being pulled in. Okay, now additionally, we also have foot pedals down here. We got one on located on the other side, one here. Left and right, they don't do the same as the pedestal does, but the pedestal will keep it within range. So, for instance, let's set this back up a little bit. So, we're now in that range. Now, by hitting the left side of the pedal, we're evacuating. The right side is going to add pressure. Again, there's two foot pedals, one here, one on the other side. Okay, here's our dry train MO40-2. We have a manual that we provided. And it'll explain what everything here does. Uh, the thing I just want to explain for now is that we have a circulator here. That's uh, Here's your switch and turn it on and off. Now you can see that purifier, there, there are two purifiers in here. The, uh, the media has been replaced. I've done one regen per uh, purifier. Uh, I'd recommend maybe doing another regen once you receive the system. Uh, to do a regeneration, all you need to do is bring this over to start. And as you can see, it's regen in B as we're circulating through A. So you can actually do a regen while you're still circulating. And the first part of the regen would be the heat. Then it does a purge with the uh, forming gas, which is nitrogen, 5% hydrogen. Then it will evacuate through the uh, vacuum pump. And then it will backfill using the gas internal. The 
the glove box and it'll cool down. This regeneration takes about 13 hours. So I'm just going to shut that off for now. Now what you can do is you can switch using the air operated valves between the purifiers. So say A has been filled up and you want to switch over to B, you'll just switch over here. The valve switched in here internally, so now your other purifier is being used through the circulator. If you just follow your lines here, you can see, you know, here, here we go, we're going through the circulator, through, our, uh, through the purifier, through the circulator, into the glove box, out of the glove box, and it returns. This is your flow meter for during, during the regeneration cycle. You can adjust your flow. Uh, generally, we set that at 60. A standard cubic feet per hour. And this is the regen gas that will be going through during the regen cycle, during the purge, purge of the regen. And that, again, that's uh, nitrogen with 5% uh, hydrogen. Okay, as I explained before, as long as your power's on, your uh, vacuum gauge will be working. As you can see, it's that atmosphere here now. And what I'll do is, if you're going to transfer work into here, generally it's recommended that you do three cycles. You'll evacuate, purge, evacuate, purge, and then you can turn your heat on. Uh, the way to evacuate, we open this valve down here. <laughs> Talk about the mini any chamber here. As you can see it's under vacuum now. The way to purge that is you just open this. This is your refill. It's bringing gas from inside the glove box. Being that it's such a small volume, it's already at atmosphere. We're going to close this refill valve. At this point, you can open it. It's a small, small chamber. You need to bring in small pieces. It's got an O-ring on it. And then we'll just put that back in place. And then to evacuate it. You can see how quick, quickly that pulls down. So you can cycle it three times if you need be. And again, it's pulling the, uh, it's refilling using the gas internal to the glove box. It's best to keep the uh, glove box at positive pressure when you're doing this. And then if you need to open that inner door, you would just come over here, you put your hand in a glove. I'll reach over to here. And then you can slide your work in. Okay, it's been about a few minutes now, maybe four or five minutes. Yeah, you can see we're almost at 500 millitor. We're up at temperature. Now, if, what you can do now is you can close off your vacuum valve, introduce some nitrogen if you like. From inside, just coming from inside the glove box, and you can see the pressure went up. Evacuate, purge. What I'll do is I'll just bring it up to uh, atmospheric pressure so that we can open the inner door. Okay, we're at atmosphere. I'll close the refill valve. Go inside and I'll open the inner door. Bring your work. 
work in this way. Okay, now we're on the other side, and again we have a we're reading atmospheric pressure. You can see the door is open. We can turn our heater on at this point. Again, we I have it set for 60. Is that 20? That's the thermocouple reading temperature of your uh, vacuum oven. Here, what we'll do is we'll uh, evacuate. Same thing through here with the uh, small ante chamber. You got your evacuation. Right now, it's under vacuum. We can refill, backfill it. Again, this is coming from inside the glove box. So you have your mini anti chamber if you want to introduce uh, small pieces into your glove box. And here I can open that door. Just by opening this handle. And at this point, you could bring in anything you need. It's smaller. That's any small eight. No, mini anti chamber. Close that up. We also have a light switch over here. Each one of these is an indicator for a light on. This light switch will turn those lights on. Again, these lights are always on up top as long as you have power to your system. Or if there is a switch up top, you can turn them on. For the, uh, the two upper lights. And we have a recirculator in. You can always close that valve off if need be. This one and there's one on the other side. Actually, I think this is the out. Okay, as we're waiting for the vacuum uh, oven on the right side here to pump down, I want to explain what these are. These are uh, additional valves that were here, and I uh, you can always blank it off using a, uh, a blank off port right here like that. But what I did is I just left these in place. Uh, they're not being used at all other than I'm using this valve right here, using this line going to our oxygen sensor. Again, that's our house system that will not come along with the system. And they're just basically on off valves, allow you to introduce gas into the chamber, you know, for the process of whatever you're using it for. There's an additional one on the side there, and we got a couple of other ports inside here. They're just, uh, we'll give you access to the inside of the uh, chamber. Well, okay, I just wanted to show you that here we are, we're pumped down to 300 millitor. It was a couple of minutes, that took about five minutes. Our temperature is, uh, it's a little, it overshot a little bit, and it will come back down to 60. Uh, you'll, you'll receive the manual on the uh, actual controller. What I'll do here though is I'll close the vacuum valve off at this point and I'll refill this oven. Using the refill valve again, it's bringing gas from inside the uh, glove arm. I just went and I set the pressure so that you get a slightly positive pressure in the glove box. It's best to do that when you're doing the transfer here. So I can refill it, evacuate again. You're going to hear the, uh, the gas being pulled through the pump and out the exhaust. You can set the weight meter. So I'll just quickly do it three times. Again, this is not a shelf, it's a sliding shelf, it's just a permanent uh, 
temporary shelf that's in there. You could bring your work in at this point. Let's go. All right, after, do, after doing the transfer, I just opened that door. I did a quick cycle there. I didn't be, uh, fully evacuate and refill it. But uh, as you can see, we got a little burst up of oxygen inside our glove box. And what the purifier is doing right now is it's bringing down the oxygen level. You can see that that is working. 